Hi folks! Welcome to the third episode of Eve Echo's Bootcamp Training. In the previous episodes, we talked about damage and defense types along with how turret-based weapons work. If you missed them or want a recap, I've left links to these episodes in the description down below. Today, we will talk about drones and missiles. Let's start with drones. As mentioned in the first episode, Drones are the most versatile weapon class due to the pilot's ability to change damage type mid-combat. That being said, there are a few mechanics you should know if drones are your weapon of choice. There are 12 different combat drones in-game. One for each damage type in three different sizes. Small drones are the fastest and deal the least damage while large drones are the slowest and deal the most damage. The way drones work, you launch them from your ship and they travel to your target. Once they reach the target, they start orbiting it while dealing damage. There are two main disadvantages for operating drones. The first being the travel time between your ship and your target, while the second is that your drones are physical objects in space, meaning they can be shot. And if you lose a drone, it's gone forever and you will have to buy a replacement. Also, if you don't have enough replacements in your drone bay while in combat, you can run out of guns. A technique most veterans call defanging. Good thing is, NPCs do not shoot drones. So if your interest is in PvE, you won't have to worry about that. There are also sentry drones, which are technically classified as large drones. Sentry drones do not move. You deploy them, and they start shooting straight away. Sentry drones have more range than regular drones, as they don't travel, but they have optimal range, accuracy falloff, and tracking just like turrets. All drones have a stat called Drone Command Range. If your target is further than your drone command range, you cannot command your drones to attack it. Now that we're done with drones, let's talk about missiles. Missiles mechanics are a little bit tricky. While they do not have the disadvantage of tracking light turrets, they have a complex damage application formula which is very important to know if you're going to fly missile boats. Like drones, Missiles travel from your ship to your target, but since they are homing missiles, they will always hit, as long as the target is within your missile range. Missiles have four main variables you should be aware of. Flight velocity, flight time, explosion radius, and explosion velocity. The first two determine your range, while the second two determine how well your missiles apply their damage. Let's go through them one by one. Flight velocity is how fast your missiles travel in space. They do travel faster than most ships, but some ships can fly fast enough to outrun them. Flight time is basically your missile's fuse length. If your missile's flight time is 5 seconds, that's exactly how much time your missiles will fly before exploding. Missile's range is determined by multiplying flight velocity times flight time. Explosion radius is how far your explosion spreads in space once your missiles hit their target. And before you smile, there is no splash damage in the game. If your explosion is too big, most of your damage will just dissipate in space. Explosion velocity is how fast your explosion fills up from the impact point to its maximum radius. Again, that is very important especially if your target is on the move. If your target is moving faster than the explosion velocity, it can escape most of the damage. In this illustration, the red circle signifies the full explosion of a missile, while the blue circle is your target's ship size. Your target takes as much damage as the intersection between these two circles. If your target is stationary, it will only take part of the explosion that is covering its size. In this example, about 30% of your missile's damage. However, 
if your target is moving, it can escape even more damage before your explosion fills up to its max radius. In simple terms, less explosion radius and more explosion velocity is what makes your missiles more effective. That concludes today's episode. If you have a question, post it in the comments section down below and I'll be happy to answer. Next time, we'll talk more about different ship classes. Please feel free to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more videos in the future. Thank you for watching. Fly safe.